Good morning. Many is the time the phone will ring and will ask the customer during trying to troubleshoot whether he's got an open wire in his harness. Uh, we know from experience sometimes that's confusing, so what we're going to do is just give you a quick example of how to use a continuity meter and how to ring out your harness. First thing we're going to do is remove the cup floor from the cup to gain access to the cup side of the harness. Then we're going to remove the cover from the DMC on the upper left hand side of the door to gain access to the other end of the harness. Then we'll show you an example of how to ring it out with a continuity meter. All right, now that we've got the cup floor off, we'll identify the harness end that we're going to disconnect, which is right back there. It's a little tough to see. And pull it loose. Mr. Hands is using a pair of wire or a, uh, a pair of needle nose. Sometimes you don't need to do that, but that's fine. If it's on very, very tight, you may need to do it. And then up on the control board, the DMC, you're going to unplug the other end. Now the two ends are easily identifiable. There's nine wires in it. Each wire has a different color. Both ends will match. What we're going to do is now we're going to zero out our meter, making sure that it works. My meter happens to have an audible tone when there's no, cotton, no resistance. There you go. He's going to insert one end of the meter into the back of the plug, never in the face of the plug because you malform or disform the part that actually plugs into the machine. Now usually at that point you can let it hang. Usually at that point you can let it hang. There you go. Identify the color that you've punched in on that side and touch it on this side. Okay, Just like that and you're going to go right down the row one color to the next to the next to the next. Anytime you get the audible tone you've got continuity through the harness. Just a reminder you want to have both ends disconnected so you're not feeding back through the control board. Now at any time you do this test, you do not get your audible tone. That's an indication that you've got an open wire. And once you've identified an open wire, if you go to the book uh, under control board descriptions, you'll find the pinout. It'll tell you what that wire controls. And you're probably going to understand the relationship between the wire you found bad and the problem you're seeing in the machine. Now all that seems pretty simple and straightforward if you've got a broken wire, but there is a condition that's called an intermittent wire. Uh, for example, if you've got a cup that seems to fail only vending the number one column or maybe the number one shelf, simply relocate the gantry to that position and make sure that's where you're going to test your wires at. Uh, there's a good possibility if the wires are still touching in most positions, uh, at that point where you know you have the problem, that's where the wire is going to be open and you're going to be able to identify it. And then again, most likely the break is going to be here where the harness flexes and over here in the large chain where the harness flexes. Down through here. But in any case along the lengths, you're not going to want to try to cut that wire and repair it. You're going to want to replace the harness. All right. Thanks again. I hope you've learned something. And uh, anybody got any questions? Didn't think so. Take care.